be picked up again. They were able to pick it up a while ago, but Beer, you could really go for the same draft here. Having the Alistar pick up the Varus for themselves so that they would have that extra damage, but they're much more confident in having the Renekton on their side. So I think this is perfect though. Having the Renekton, denying it on the hands of NGX and letting Hyde pick up the Ribbon would be a good, good pickup here for this Hyde Beer. You involved this going for the Kha'Zix himself. It was like, all right, Joshi, you have been picking this champion so many times, and we he have the sleeves. we now re time, bro. record it's time. time. Yeah, <laughs> the sleeves and like show his biceps right now in this <laughs> game as well. He's gonna be ready to show his Kazakh's performance, but then we got Luffy has some ways to switch things up as well. This time we see the Wukong. Hmm. Wukong has been really good in the meta. Especially that if you have a Draven where you have some ADCs, Whoa. Wukong could really go be good for peeling. Whenever you have a lot of dashes on the other side, they would think twice because you have twice the Cyclones too. Mm -hmm. And good way to actually pick up the Ash because he also deny it from Burrito Knight resource. But take note that initially Nick McAllister wanted to pick up the virus and right now, BRU has a chance to take this for themselves. It still has some sort of crowd control. It still has ways to actually influence a team fight. And this time around, they have ways to cancel engages of Nigma Galaxy. So NGX right now needs to be extra careful whenever they engage. Now, right now, they also need one more frontline for themselves. Maybe Agalia would suffice to help out whenever Valdus goes in. But an Alistar would not hurt a spell here for draw. Yeah. I think Nigma Galaxy would just ban out that Alistar after banning out the Zarya, ban the Alistar so they won't really have a lot of choices. But if ever they do that, they might be losing their own support because if ever they could really just pick up the Galio on the side of BRU and they won't really have a lot of choices. But there's a Rakan. Rakan has yeah. been banned during this game. I think that's going to be a really good pick here for Nick Galaxy as well that BRU needs to recognize too. Ooh, Ezreal this time around gonna be respected, which is one of the few champions that Noel can actually use into the mid lane now since Kaisa was taken away, Zeri was taken away, Ezreal as well. Without the Corgi, what else There's can you actually pair up with the virus? Yeah, are they gonna force Draw to go for the Rakan or is Draw gonna be picking up the Alistar himself? Cause Biryu has been picking up the Alistar, has been perfect with the Pulver Vices since a while ago, but... Okay, they're gonna go for the Galio so that they won't really have that engage, or rather, so that they would have the mm. counter engage whenever an Ash Arrow comes in. So if this Lee Sin gets locked, it means that the Wukong is gonna go into the top lane for Hyde, and they are going extra aggressive into the early game. This is actually really good. It shows the same flavor of Enigma Galaxy, very reminiscent of games two and five uh, uh two and four rather but they have extra um extra ways to engage right now now that they have the luxury of the nautilus which has been you know not really given has attention to picked? over the past yeah few yeah past few uh, games wait 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 a second Whoa. okay okay that's interesting so that changes things though having this what they're just going for the yumi and having that with cold and beat that's actually good with them, Noel going for the Galio in the mid lane changes things up. The rotations would be way different on the side of BRU. We're not going to be seeing a lot of rotation from what the just like what he was doing since a while ago, but we're going to be seeing him going for a lot more supportive role. So this is going to be a change of pace. This could really change for NGX because they might trip up by this change of pace from the side of BRU. Absolutely. Same thing happened to Nas Esports against KT Rose or Y during uh, last Wednesday, right? And this time around, BRU is trying to have that switcheroo as well. This way, with the Galio into the mid lane and a Yumi support, they can actually have two champions build AP. And that is very potent. Why? Because they already have the burst with the Renekton, Kha'Zix, and Varus. Right now, with the balance of the AP, the magic damage is going to be skyrocketing as well. So team fighting is going to be better again for BRU. And that has been one of the things that is consistent on the Steam side, NGX needs to be extra careful because they have a lot of ways to go in, but they only have very few ways to actually get out. Yep. Remember, there's a lot of damage right here from the side of uh, BRU. Even having the Yumi on their side, the rotations would be 
quite different from what we expect. We're gonna be expecting that the top lane would just be a weak side lane here for the side of NG or for the side of BRU, because Renekton would really have a hard. Oh, they're gonna be rotating out because if it's gonna be a one v two anyway with the Yumi, Hyde could really fight against this even in a two v one, and they're just not gonna let Renekton have the best of days. Mm -hmm. Ash can uh, prevent uh, Thipper from you know f uh, getting in because the slows are very irritating with the Nautilus. It's also going to be extra challenging as a Renekton to actually go in. Plus, since you have the Lee Sin here for Nick Galaxy, in which right now, withdraw, just he is actually the ones getting the farm now. Really good invade. And are they going to go with double camps here? This is actually genius. Most of the time, we, we only see one camp they don't have vision. by the support. On this part of the map, they don't have vision on this part of the map, but because they have the information though, and Hyde wouldn't be able to do anything right here, it's a possibility that they are expecting that to happen. Valdis is just taking all the Krugs in his favor, but if he doesn't really catch Valdis oh, taking this out, that's gonna be good. But again, with them taking down this top side of the map, that is not what they expected on the side of BRU. Yes, they are a pick composition. It's gonna be really hard for them to really get that going if Kha'Zix doesn't really have a lot of items. And that really benefits the NGX the most because with that, they could just snowball this on the Lee Sin in his favor because he does have a lot more camps compared to that Baldus. Yeah, three camps taken by Enigma Galaxy in which uh, the Baldus only was able to take one, but actually Hyde got some of it as well. Right now they're in bot. Yeah, bot lane, they're gonna go in, they have the hole coming out, but because the dredge line wasn't able to hit, they can't continue with that fight. And NJX gonna be just resetting. So far, this is already a big lead that they actually have since they have taken some camps of uh, Valdis as well. And right now, that's going to be felt here by Valdis when he visits his top side camp because he doesn't have anything there. Yeah. Leaving Demon Kite alone here in the top side. Those slice and dice coming in from Pepper. A few more hits and he's dead. Flashes Whoa. in to the call of the Meek. And that's going to be a kill for BRU. Big surprise. And again, we talked about respect a lot of times. Even in the past game and this time around, Demon Kite being too far forward isn't really paying a lot of respect there towards Tipper. Now, if you give a kill to Zerenikon, that is actually scary because this champion is already going to be the 1v1. Ooh, what more cool. if you give gold towards him? Yeah, too much damage from Cold. Indeed, Ooh. piercing arrow. That was really scary. Even on this 2v2, Golden Feet still has the advantage. They can't even close against them. Because remember, they have a lot of sustain, a lot of pokes. And NGX wouldn't even be bothered to get close against them. Because if they try to get too close, Golden Feet could just execute them with a piercing arrow together with a blighted quivers. And what the chance is always there, protecting him at all times, slowing down and also chipping some of the HP there of hide and, and draw. Right now, the gold is actually favoring BRU despite the invade of Nengar Galaxy simply because of the kill that Thipper Ooh, actually had the That's going to be a dead Nautilus though. So much Ooh. damage to get it with a hero's entrance. Forces hide out of the way. That's enough. Two kills to the board for BRU. Big punish. Goes back in. Yeah. Arrow? I think there's a arrow going to be able to hit. That's going to be two kills to the side though. What the just doesn't have any flash. That's a Yumi. He's going to be dead. The shield of Ruan was a bit too late, but Hyde is also going to die just because they have it. They've seen Valdus. He's going to go in. Might be able to make this a two for two. And BRU just answered back. Still able to equalize the kills. That means that BRU is the one getting the advantage. They're ahead. Oh man, that was just perfect. Now they're going to go in here. Damage is not enough. Pepper still has a slice. Are not going to go in. The damage is going to be there. Dredge line pulls him back, but he has a bit of healing. Call the was used. Tipper will still survive. And he's not going to die. NGX. Oh no. Draw falls. And that's three kills. No answers from NGX. Big punish again by BRU. The lack of damage in the early game is causing them so much. Let's check this out one more time because Golden Feet had a genius plan, punishing the overextension with a chain of corruption and got the kill onto the draw. Afterwards, Arrow actually caught him off guard, especially with high there in the bottom lane. Joshi even flashed in just to secure that kill with the Dragon's Rage as well. But when Noel got into the mix, he has the necessary damage. And with Valdus as well joining from the base, he managed to just equalize everything. Even with a disadvantage in the early game, taking the camps on the top side of the map, now it's just neutralized. And even BRU having the advantage because they got some kills a while ago, 
That's perfect for BRU. They can set up this Cossix for themselves with the objectives 10 seconds of the clock. And now they know even that the bot side of the map is free because there's no vision on the side of NGX. They could just trade out, shake hands, and just take objectives on both sides. This switcheroo on the composition of BRU is definitely catching NGX off guard. Right now, we're seeing Justy start the RH, but BRU is starting off the Dragon, which is we've talked about to be a better objective come late game, since we normally see this game going the distance anyways. But then we has to have the better value here with the RH. You need the charge maybe into the mid lane to actually bash it up, then transition top side, try to take another tower and prevent BRU from catching them off guard. Yeah. Not a lot of damage just yet. You do expect this if ever we go to the late game. Corky is just gonna be really strong on the side of NGX. But BRU wants to get the early game and this is exactly what they're going for. Getting the early game in their favor is gonna be important. Because if the snowballs with hands have balled this, it is gonna be hard to deal with a Kha'Zix that snowballed with a lot of kills. They need to tempo down, but also they need to equalize the kills. They need to find ways to get gold and prevent Valus from getting kills because again, Negma Galaxy has demonstrated why Kha'Zix is really strong, but BRU can do that as well. Yeah, now onto the top side though, having this 1v1. What's really great about having a Wukong on your side, the Golden Staff is just so much healing together with a Grass and then dying. Now we're seeing thunder. right here. Oh, oh, what was that? What? The well was just pushed out. They have the ultimate coming in though. Gonna go in, not enough damage from Demon Kite. They need to run away from this fight though, but with Aaron right here having a 1v1 with the Golden Flash Ooh. with a pressing arrow, dodges it with a flash. And that's not gonna be enough. He was slowed down, Ignite, and that's the win so far to get the kill on him. They caught Valdus, flashed away, but they're gonna go for the tower in the mid lane. That was just a diversion from the side of NGX. NGX is starting to salvage the situation. They already lost one member there Wait. due to the mishap. Second oh, charge, big no. value on the RH. Yeah, caught Tiffer. Might want to go against Zephyr right here, but remember he has to charge. He has to rage. One ruthless predator could hold down one target. And even with cold and feed, Chain of Corruption is at the ready right here. Even with the towers, at least BRU got one tower down the bot side of the map. And BRU, uh, look at look at the gold swinging up and down. NGX, well, BRU initially was ahead by 2,000. NGX with two tower takedowns was able to cut it down to about 400, 500. But with a tower takedown by BRU again and catching the waves, able to jumpstart it to above 1,000. That's how efficient BRU has been all throughout the game. The way that some of their members are actually miraculously staying alive is just genius. And NGX has been unsuccessful a lot of times on their pickoffs. If that continues, this is going to be so bad, especially that their composition kind of falls off. Well, the least, it's only the least that it falls off. But BRU has a lot of ways to actually take them down simply because of the Kha'Zix and the Galio. Their charge knocks them up, but Baldus was able to run away. That's going to be enough. At least they got vision on this side of the map, and BRU are looking for opportunities to go for a kill. Stop side, Ruthless Better. They're going to be their draw. Having a 2v1 right here, and Thepper is just going to be so running scary. away with another dice. And Faldus is going to be here to help him out. He might have enough damage. Oh, they have four Sudden members four. right here. That's going to be it. They have one. Final chapter is going to be popped, and that's going to be the hold down onto draw. Look at where he ran. Hyde is going to be here on the top side of the map, but because they're all here, bot lane is going to be free for the side of NGX. NGX still able to answer back slowly but surely. Hyde, though. Oh! Slows him down. One more prowling projectile, but it's not enough. Fortunately, he survives because he, they need him for the next fight. 40 seconds before the dragon spawns up. And this is the second one. If it gives this a BRU, it's basically over. Like Magarthi has to find ways to steal it out. Collector has been picked up here by Joshi. Maybe get that burst down onto the Kha'Zix as well. So far, no collector on the side here of BRU. We're seeing just the Essence Reaver and the Edge of Night here for Golden Feet. But the AP build, even a death cap completed here by Noel, is starting to give an umph oh. on his damage. Oh, Ooh. okay. Enchanted crystal arrow, but what Whoa. was that damage? What on was the fourth that? rocket? That was so much. And now with that, they don't have an enchanted crystal arrow again, and this could be an opportunity for BRU. Yeah, they need to set things up. Heroes and is going to be available in the next few uh, seconds. Dominus as well, I think, is available. Tipper did not use it in the topside fight, but hide. 
Gonna be left alone. Final chapter is gonna be called on. He's gonna be holding down and hide his low HP. Even with the Cyclone, it's not gonna be helping him out. He might die on process though. Hero Center is gonna be here to knock up two. Uh oh, it's gonna be a dead, dead A run. And GX is gonna be running away in fear because they got already a lot of members. And BRU was able to get the three for zero. And this objective is gonna be theirs. This time, no trades. BRU are not giving them an inch right now. Not even a millimeter of chance to turn this game around. Now they're able to take this objective as well. Second dragon for BRU. And the gold is starting to increase to their side even more. Especially with the tower takedown here into the mid lane. NGX, they're losing their grip. Let's check that one more time because Hyde tried to stall things out. He actually waited before he used his Cyclone as well, waiting for the perfect moment so that he can allow the others to follow up. But eventually, he still fell down. The hero's entrance actually caught Aaron. Oh, Chanted Crystal Arrow pushes him back. That's not gonna be enough because Stasis is here. Draw is gonna be left alone. He's gonna be dying on the hands of BRU. He has some timing though, but the well is gonna survive that damage. NGX fell. And they have one more pushing on the bot side of the map. But they got two already in the side of BRU. Man, B BRU, what is this game? So many defying of death for BRU. NGX unable to get the final blow onto them. A lot of times. That is about like five, seven times that a member of BRU did not die. That's how frustrating it is right now for the Galaxy. And as we said, snowballing is what they're good at inside of BRU. Because remember, with Valdos together, with the Yumi, it's just a nightmare to deal with. And look at that top side. Aaron's gonna be kept here with Exhaust. He's gonna push back and chat this little arrow. That's gonna be a dead Valdos. That's what they needed. An opportunity to fight Chain of Corruption is gonna be here. Whoa. And a hero center is gonna be helping them out. Backline with the well. He's gonna die. And just she is not enough right here. He's gonna be dying on their hands with one more cyclone on high. They got them. And they got two. And that is perfect for the side of NGX. But first survives in the bot lane yeah he will get the tower unfortunate for cold in feet because what i just wanted to connect onto him wanted to attach himself and they heal him up but he used the stasis yeah and he was left alone the kitty <laughs> was alone so sad but let's check that one more time because yeah. aaron got caught out as well at the very end the damage of this ap gal is just significantly high and the burst is really there but the the downside of the AP Gallia, though, is that you're also squishy. And that allowed Nygma Galaxy to, to just have the collapse. They're on to BRU with Demon Kite free hitting. And again, unfortunate scenario for Golden Feed in What the Jess. Yeah, not a lot of damage, though, from the side of NGX. That's why they had done a lot of effort just to do just that in order for them to win that fight. But again, but again. Remember, with Chushi being very carry on this composition, though, he's building full damage on this one. We're going to be expecting yeah. him to be really going for that backline and maybe get a great Dragon's Rage against the members of BRU. Even using the Voice Assault, try to get the kill here. Hero Center is going to be there. Chushi is going to be running away with the safe guard. The ball this is going to be knocked up in the air together Hello? with the teammates right here, but oh, it's no, not no. going to be enough. A lot of damage. Aaron's going to be here to help him out. It's the damage that they're looking for. But they didn't get any kills. Hyde almost died with that piercing arrow. But BRU is still running away, but a chance for Baron has been open for the side of BRU. Mm -hmm. That is the luxury that Burrito United actually has because they have two dragon stacks with a mountain dragon. That's why they're able to endure a lot of those damage from the Galaxy. And now, since they have top, uh, top side river priority as well, with the vision that they have established, they can actually start the Baron up. But looking at the cooldown of the dragon, they mm -hmm. start that instead. Oh, wait! That actually hit! Oh my, I thought that was, that was really scary. Now forcing oh. the Dragon's Rage. Don't have any vision on that side of the map. It's out of war just for them to have vision in case members of BRU are feeling a little bit Ooh. frisky on starting this. Want to go for draw. Uh -oh. Final chapter with the Chain of Corruption. That's enough damage. One more piercing arrow with a Blighted Quiver. That's Ooh. an end for draw. And Valtus is going to be using the stasis. But nobody's going to follow through. Ooh. It's just he's going to go in though. He's not. Because if he actually went in, he's going to die too. My mind's telling me no, and he <laughs> will not go. BRU almost, though, having their jungler taken out is very scary because they need to take this third dragon as well. Spawning up in the next 20 seconds. Finally, Aaron's going to be able to pick up that blue buff that Justy left out mm. for him as he stole that blue buff from Valdus. But still, look at this game. It's, it's, it's just so close. The goal Six. lead hasn't increased. 
616. Uh, more than 3,000. Yeah. 616, and we're still this close because yeah. of the fact that NGX always answers back whenever an objective gets taken down on their side. And also, one of the bigger wins that they had there was that taking down the second tier turret in the mid lane just gave them a lot of space. And now, mm -hmm. they can contest this Ocean Drake even with two dragons on the side of BRU. They need to start this now but because they're quite a bit scared. No package on the hands of Aaron. It's still going to be hard for them to do this, oh but Temper is in a great position to go for and engage here. Actually, he will get spotted out since they do have vision with the uh, oh Aaron warding the there. Yeah. The <laughs> now they know. And the, the ward as well. Oh no. Chanticleer's arrow wasn't able to hit. This is going to force Jeshi to try to go for the steal. Temper is going to be left alone here. He tries to go for the flank, but it's not successful. Ooh. Knocks him up. He's going to be dead. Hero's entrance has been used already. They have it onto the back line. Chill the run. It's not going to be enough. Noel's going to be staying in. Aaron. Golden time. One has been dead onto the back line. Aaron has been killed. But it's still a 3v4. Members are low HP. One more arrow from Golden Feet could get the kill and draw. And he's going to be dead. Oh. Three for oh three. My God. A rider two for two. And this is going to be a 3v3. An advantage for BRU. Uh, yeah, BRU, given their very healthy members left here into the fight, they can actually start this dragon because the other yeah. members of Big Mechanics here are very low. Oh, we see no, Justy on the top here. side. Means that they're just going to be getting this objected away. Three oh, dragon no. stacks for BRU? Yeah, oh, this is going to be bad for them, though. Having three dragon stacks, Ocean Drake, Mountain Drake, and oh, even oh. with Infernal on their side, that's a lot of damage that they can go for. So even if it comes to those long dragon fights, they would really be okay with it, even if they have the Kha'Zix. BRU has all the advantages on this game. One ball drop could really end this in the paper of BRU. So League of Galaxy only has one more window of opportunity here and that is elder dragon because baron i think it's not going to be enough here to turn the tides around even if you have additional stats additional ap and ad three dragon stats is worth more than that especially that you have mountain ocean and infernal that's basically the the best possible stats that you can actually acquire with this comp mm -hmm. Gentle crystal arrow you want to go from the well but with the Enchanted Crystal Arrow down, draw is going to be the target. Final chapter, too much damage onto him. They're going to be running in. They have the hide Cyclone. That is not going to be enough to knock up onto Ooh. the members right here of NGX. They're falling down like flies. They're not surviving. They got one. What? The one has fell. BRU is on this advantage, but they're right here onto the back line, though. They might go in, and just she's going to fall right here on his hand. Dominus is blocking on his head, and BRU is just really chunking them down with one more leap onto Aaron. This is going to be the end of it if they go for it. It's a 4v1. Aaron is going to be the last bastion of the side of NGX. Oh my, the timing is just perfect. Elder Dragon going to be spotting up in the next 15 seconds, but BRU batting their way towards Baron. The better objective right now to actually crack the base of Nygma Galaxy wide open. Again, we have seen the game, the stasis plays during the previous game, but this time it happened in favor of BRU. And also the flank of Pepper this time around was perfect because it bought yeah. enough time for the rest of the members of BRU to actually take down Demon Kite and Valdus was able to take him out. That allowed them to get the better end. Let's check that one more time because that was just so good. It started off with a proper pick off actually onto Noel. Good Cyclone as well by Hyde later on. It started off with Golden Feet trying to get the kill onto Draw, but he was actually able to stay alive for so long. And the yeah, way that Hyde was able to suppress them was so good. They were able to take down the well at the very end. It's not yeah. enough. Starting the Elder Drake though, they want to take this by themselves. Draw, Baldus might be able to seal this if ever they want to. Meteor and Chance is going to be there. They are going to be taking oh! the Elder Drake. Baldus might fall here. He's to run away, but the take of the Elder Drake oh! is going to be there. Joshi might be able to get the kill on what the Jess. It's going to be perfect. What the just got the kill on him. And now they're going to be ending the game. Baron is on their side. They tried to go for the Elder Drake, but it was not enough. That was BRU taking the game in their favor and going for a 3-2. It was a desperation attempt there by Enigma Galaxy. They only had one more, or they, they only have that been conditioned. The Elder yep. Dragon. Because it's already the game of BRU. We're just waiting for the, the formality since they already have taken all the objectives to get that victory, including the Baron. But Enigma Galaxy, or a BRU rather, 